Hey everyone, it's the Yellow Chili, and we're back with another episode, or let's say, another series of Empyreon Galactic Survival. This time, it's gonna be a uh, dead as dead series, which means if we die, we'll be dead forever and have to start over again. But, for now, let's uh, discuss the game settings. I will be running the Project Eden mod, as you guys can see here. And, um, also, I've decided to, um do some custom difficulty here. I actually set it to hard and the only things I changed is uh, that these ore deposits are not small and um, the number of deposits, oops, I made a mistake here. I don't want them to be plenty, I want them to be just normal. Uh, because it's just gonna make the later game um, longer and I don't want to bore you guys, which is why I set this to rich, normal and auto miner depletion to false because if we are in desperate need of uh, resources, we're just gonna place an auto miner and then um, I can fast forward to get some resources. Um, so uh, other than that, everything will be set to hard difficulty. We have hard start equipment, we have slow play player progression, fast degradation speed, fast food and oxygen consumption, and a high temperature and radiation impact. Um, enemy difficulty, drone presence, drone base attack will be high, which is not going to be that important during the early game. Uh, I will uh, explain to you why in a second. Craft speed slow, building speed slow, blueprint spawn limit I set to false because I always set this to false. This is in my opinion one of the worst settings in the game because it means you can only spawn blueprints on other bases or capital vessels. Which doesn't add anything to me, um, to the game, I'm sorry, for me, um, because uh, it just puts in an artificial limitation where I don't see any use for. So uh, we're setting this to false. Other than that, block limit for certain devices is going to be true. Mass, volume and CPU points will be enabled, which is going to make the game a little more difficult, but not necessarily longer, because you can easily get the resources for the CPU extenders from POIs. And mass and volume won't be too hard, because we can build uh, container controllers and container extensions. Alright, now why is drone presence and drone basic not going to be so important? Because we are going to start on a dead planet. The dead planet means um, it has no resources. You can see here, uh, after nuclear war devastated your planet, you were put into cryo sleep to await transportation to an interplanetary arc ship, but the ship never came. Years later, you awaken to find yourself on a dead planet in the midst of a nuclear winter. The planet has been stripped of all natural resources and is almost completely devoid of any life. This, in um, to be a little more exact, means there aren't any plants except a few dead trees and um, some mushrooms and some, um, I think, natural stimulant plants, which is all you will be able to find. So let's see if we can survive, actually. You will need to brave the intense cold and deadly radiation while you scavenge and salvage for the supplies needed to survive and eventually build a small vessel capable of ex escaping your former home. Yeah, there will be radiation, there will be intense cold, and this is no kidding, it will be very intense. We have to make use of the portable heater quite a lot. And um, also, we're gonna have to find a way to um, counteract this radiation, because we're not gonna have uh, any radiation countermeasures for our suit, like boosters, um, or a medium or heavy suit available in the early games. So we'll have to find a way around that. Um, the planet is kind of cold, negative uh, 35C to negative 5C. Um, I'd say there's, it'll probably be an average of negative 20 um, from from my last playthrough through a dead starter. Um, and I must admit, I've never done this on this insane difficulty, so um, let's see if we can do it. Um, let's start the game. Uh, I will probably skip through the loading sequence because it's going to take a while. This is just due to the project Project Eden mod creating such a large galaxy with so many different planet types. So um, I will see you when, um, when the loading screen is complete. All right, um, loading is completed and you wake up from years in cryosleep. Power at the facility is failing. You should gather what equipment you can and venture outside. More information can be found in the PDA. Let's go. All right, we do not have time to read everything that's put up here. Um, we should just see if there's any stuff in here. There is a medic station that's not gonna do any 
or a lot of stuff to us. We don't need stone dust. Is there anything anything useful in here? Just stone dust. We don't need that. So we start the game with a um, light suit equipped. And we really don't need another multi-tool. So let's just put that um, to our toolbar. We do have some anti-radiation stuff. But not a lot. I'm um, gonna pick up the multi charges, uh, the hot beverages. I don't even think we need the explosive devices. Um, so, yeah, there's some oxygen in here, which is not gonna be a, a lot because we're gonna need more of that. And let's see what's here. We can't see anything, we need to use the scanner for that. There is a POI right to the left. Do we have a heater? No, we don't have a heater yet. Um, running is almost always a bad idea when you have, um, we, have a, we don't have a motorcycle, that's bad. Okay, so, but we, we really need to kind of run. Wow, the radiation is at 6 and I think our suit will only protect us from a radiation of like 2. And we're already getting too cold. Which we can counteract by having a hot beverage. <sighs> wow, there's a ruins there. That is a very good find. We might actually make that our base. Because I think it has a generator. I have to put this in our toolbar so I can use it while running or while walking. <sighs> Now, if you are um, thinking about doing a playthrough like this, keep in mind that there is a spot up here where you can warm up and have almost no radiation, I believe. <sighs> we can actually overheat our... There's a motorcycle, that's great. There's some food. I think we're gonna take that right about now. Um, we picked up this mushroom. We're gonna take this motorcycle. Um, there's one spot here. Maybe not in this supply cache. Oh yeah, it's, it's right here. This spot between this box and the wall, there's a pleasant temperature and there's no radiation. And this is true for all the supply caches there are on this map. Okay, so let's see what's around us since we're um, comfortably warm here. There's something here. There is... A lot of stuff here. We have a motorcycle now. We need to get to the other supply caches because we desperately need a portable heater. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start um, overheating us. We're gonna take some radiation here. Where is this thing? Right there, okay. See how fast the temperature drops. If you look at the top right, um, outside temperature is negative 20, and our body or suit temperature already dropped to 18. It was over 33 before. And you really don't want to get cold in this um, scenario because it'll make your food drain a lot faster. Now we're suffering from hypothermia, we should be fine any minute now. And we have a portable heater and a O2 device, that is just beautiful. That is beautiful because we're now sort of, um, yeah, basically we can now find a way to to build ourselves a base or to recycle a unused building for that. Okay, we should, however, I'm just gonna quickly mark this uh, because we don't wanna go here again. I'm, I'm gonna mark this as looted and I'm not gonna make it show on the HUD because we don't need that. Um, that one we also looted. 
And then... Let's check out if there's anything else nearby. There's a crash shuttle. That also makes a decent base. Um, maybe we'll just go there because we need to start our oxygen production. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, we have four emer emergency rations, which is really good at this point. And I think I think I'm gonna mark this as base. Actually, no. Let's overheat again. Okay, so outside temperature at this point is 90 degrees, which is probably due to the proximity of the generator. Um, our suit temperature is, has increased to 32. It's going to increase again to 36, which means we're starting to get hot. But now if you continue looking at the top right, it'll decrease very quickly. Back to 30. Back to 28. Okay, this is actually the POI that I'm, I don't want as a base because it doesn't offer a lot of room. Uh, we're gonna hit the... Maybe we're gonna hit this junkyard first. We're gonna set down this heater so we don't start getting cold. Oh, this barely gets us up into pleasant temperature levels. So this is basically how you wanna sort of... Uh, Play this game. You you have to have your heater available at all times. And if I remember correctly, these junkyards. I'm feeling I have a radiation burn. That is fine because we have something against that. We're gonna eat something here and treat our open wound. Did I check that out? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, these POIs almost always have a... Now I can't pick that up because our inventory is full. Great. Um, tempted to say we don't need this many bandages, which doesn't help. We don't need Sathium this early in the game. Yeah, we don't need Sathium at all right now. I can't pick this guy up. Let's check what's in here. Um, is there anything else we don't know? We're just gonna um, we're, we're, we have to we're gonna have to come back here. Um, where's the motorcycle? Let's put that down. And where's that other POI I saw? Should be to our right. Havoc Rescue Module. This is a great POI because it offers a lot of space inside and um, we can easily make this our base. Okay, let's set down the heater. And then if you click P on these POIs, you can set them to private, which means um, you can now move stuff around in these things. We have a personal cargo box here, which we're gonna use right about now. There's a constructor even, that's great. We're gonna put our materials in here for now. We're at 0 0.4 body radiation. We don't wanna get another radiation burn because that really used a lot of our food. Okay, we're getting warm again, and I'm quite sure there is, um, apart from these um, Grow plots, there's also a shower in here, in the upstairs area. So with this shower, we can reset our body radiation and our temperature. Which is going to be really nice for... Um, if we want to... Sort of uh, avoid radiation burns. Um, we're going to have to get our constructor out now. And this guy, because we are going to need oxygen. We're at 48 already. We have some oxygen available. We also have some, some water available. So we're going to set these guys down here. Um, and we do have fuel. So we're going to put that in here. And I think we're just going to, because this guy is here, we're going to make more fuel right now. 
Okay, let's get our stuff back. There's even a core that we don't need right now, but we're just gonna take the stuff back and um, put it in here because we are going to need a generator that we probably haven't unlocked yet. And we're gonna need cargo boxes too. We're at level two. We cannot unlock the generator until we've reached level three. So, uh, okay, let's head up here, take another shot. Actually, we, I think we're, we should probably um, remove one of these items here, one of these beds, because you, you get them back as furnishings, which means you can replace them as a, sh as a, as a shower. And we're gonna put that thing right outside here. Now we're suffocating. I have to take care of some oxygen. We're gonna put this guy down as a as a shower here, so we can always just come back and shower. Uh, we don't have we do have more oxygen here, great, and we're gonna get water and oxygen out of this guy. But we're probably gonna have to make more. So uh, let's pick this guy up and get this rock here because that will allow us to put it in the constructor and you can transform rock into iron which will then allow us to make another O2 converter but this isn't gonna be enough we're gonna need two I believe right yeah we're gonna need two for that do we have another rock nearby? We do not. Okay, so let's head over to that one. And once we have um, sort of gotten the base to work, we can also retrieve oxygen from all the oxygen tanks that you can see lying around here. Like they, Oh, this is even a fuel tank. That's even better. Um, yeah, you can retrieve the oxygen and fill that into the tanks. And then you have a pressurized base, you could also build an O2 station later on, so that's what we're aiming for. But first of all, we're gonna have to take care of the basics. We're gonna need another O2 converter. Alright, hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's not get cold again. Alright, we have an, enough rock now to make uh, two iron ore. This is, by the way, that something that kind of annoys me, that the survival constructor can only use ores and not ingots, which would be, um, well, more logical, because you need ingots for everything, right? So, um, let's put that thing in here, uh, even if we're not gonna need this many. Oh wow, this takes a while. We haven't gotten a single item from this. We're definitely gonna need more. Um, let's make more iron and the next thing we're, we're gonna have to do is get some wood because we need to make fuel okay let's get started on this guy Okay, we just got one bottle of oxygen out of this, that's okay. How much do we have left? Okay. Unfortunately, we'll only be able to make one more of these guys. Um, which is what we're gonna do right now. And, um, is there wood anywhere? There's wood over there, I believe. Let's see if there's any more wood anywhere close. There are a couple trees. That is really nice. We're gonna go there right about now. All right. Sometimes when you when you're quite high up. Uh, you won't be able to reach a decent temperature with the 
uh, portable heater because it will um, it won't be enough to get it up to five degrees C, which is the minimum temperature at which you can still feel comfortable with the suit that we're wearing. That is. So if that is the case, you might just want to um, move down a little bit so you're in a somewhat enclosed area instead of on a on the top of a mountain, which will on top of a mountain the temperature can easily reach um, negative 40, negative 30 at the very least, and then the portable heater won't be enough. All right. Not actually sure how much wood we can carry, but it's probably a lot more. And once we get started on the wood production, or the, the fuel production, and the oxygen production, we'll be mostly safe. Then we just need to worry about food. We can probably get some grow plots from other POIs. That was only one, that was bad. Let's get one more. Um, and then we can probably um, get mushrooms going. Uh, they don't give a lot of food. I think they only give five, which is really, really bad. And you need a toilet nearby because you get indigestion a lot and bad trips. Come on, hurry this up. I want to get cold. Okay, we're, we are going to get cold if we don't warm up again. Wait, where's our... It's there, okay. Gonna have to change that uh, waypoint from... Uh, from the other base that we set. Because we really wanna... Want this Havoc Rescue module to be our base. Alright. Let's make that into oxygen right now. And then let's give this guy the full dosage. Uh, we do need more rock too. Okay, let's put these down. One is already done. Now let's wait until that other thing is finished. Oops, didn't want to do that. Yeah, let's keep showering so our body radiation will drop again. Alright, alright, we got this guy up. And I am 90% sure that we will only need three of them. I heard you needed four, but then that doesn't take into account that... Um, you could also salvage oxygen from, like I said, from other POIs here. And we didn't finish looting this thing. And like I said, I'm sure there is an emergency ration somewhere. Or not sure, but uh, I believe there should be one. Multi-charges, that's not too bad. Cobalt alloy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we looted these. Electronics, that's nice too. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, we can't take that. We're gonna have to come back. What? I just left the portable heater thingy. How can I be too cold right now? <sighs> I 
All right, let's put all that in here. Oh, this is why we're getting cold, because it's not... <sighs> See, this is what I was talking about. The heater can only... Only in some places can the heater give you enough uh, heat for the temperature to go up high enough. Yeah, we're gonna need food here. I'm gonna go with the energy <sighs> bar first. Okay, five degrees is fine, but four four isn't. It's getting colder. We need we need to go back. Because then we can shower, we can put down the heater. <sighs> Alright, let's retrieve the Oh, that's not a lot. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need another constructor. I'm glad oxygen production is starting to kick in. We do have a couple hot beverages that we can still use. All right, we're gonna need rock right now. Or more, to be more exact, crushed stone. Oh, this, this is bad. Oops. This is bad too. And what I was gonna say is, the heater can only give us... Enough heat to go up to three degrees, which is not hot enough or not warm enough for us to stay comfortable. It's partly due to the fact that we're pretty high up here. So this is also something you might want to keep in mind when choosing a possible base location. Yes, I know you're low on food. We're, we're gonna have to look for food. That'll be the next thing we do. the iron. Uh, we are gonna want to make more iron. How much do we need? Oh wait, we need to cancel this first. Um, how much do we need for a constructor? Iron ore 3. And we are still only... We're still only level 2. We need a lot more. Either we find another constructor or we make one. Um, which one we go for, that we will see in the next episode because it's time to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, like and share the video, uh, leave a comment or subscribe. Uh, I will greatly appreciate it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.